Hi guys, welcome back to the show, the Daryl Solace Show. As you know, if you've not subscribed, tickle that subscribe button right now and join me on my journey. I've left the UK. You may know the reasons why. If you do not know the reasons, check the link above. But I'm, I'm sure a lot of you know the reasons why I left the UK. If you're in the UK right now and if you're having the same idea of leaving the UK because of the same reasons, Good luck to you. Go ahead and make your dream come true. Don't let anyone stop you. So today, guys, I'm really just going to casually show you around the mega building that I'm actually staying in at the moment here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. It is just outside the KLCC. That stands for Kuala Lumpur City Centre, but of course they just call it the KLCC for short here. Um, so don't let the swimming pool fool you guys. This is not a hotel, yeah. Th this is uh, a mega building with thousands of small apartments that you can rent long term, short term, and the building offers you all of these facilities that you can just use for free, um, such as the swimming pool and the gym, etc. There's a lot of different facilities here that you can use and Buildings like this do not exist in the UK. Okay, so it's easy for a lot of people to think that I'm staying in a hotel, but this is this is not a hotel. It's uh, serviced apartments is what they are. Um, so there's a link in the description to the actual building that I'm staying in. You can check that out later. Um, but I'm just going to show you around the building today, guys. So as you can see, it's a huge building, right? Or what I would say is a, a mega building. It's like three different towers that are like interconnected very closely to each other. Thousands of different small rooms that just look like this or apartments. Of course, they've got private bathrooms, little kitchenettes, uh, you've got a double bed. So everything that you can expect in a hotel room, pretty much. Uh, but it's of course, it's not a hotel. Um, but what you get here, is uh, of course you get your small apartment but you also get you have access to the swimming pool you get access to the roof that's the sky garden you've got access to the gym and like i said guys this is just the standard here in malaysia there's thousands of buildings just like this that offer all kinds of nice small apartments with all of these amazing facilities uh, so in terms of pricing guys it really depends on how in advance you book and how long you book for so i'm here in kuala lumpur for um about 18 days and this is how much it costs yes uh so you, you know i'll break it down for you right there per night um it's amazing guys like you you couldn't get a decent hotel in the uk for that price for one night Okay, uh, th this is how cheap it is here for people, of course, from the UK or from the USA or from Australia. Um, you know, when you do the conversions from the pound to Malaysian ringgit, of course, it works out at a very cheap price. Uh, of course, Malaysia is maybe not cheap for the Malaysian people working, living and working here, earning ringgit, but for Westerners, here living if you're earning pounds or dollars then your money is going to go a lot further here so guys living in these small serviced apartments is truly amazing like you know you just wake up you've got beautiful cityscape views you know you can go down to the pool you can go down to the gym you can, you know you can chill out in the sky garden there's even like a, a reading room that you can use if you're if you're working and if you want some like you know real quiet time um, so yeah these buildings offer all kinds of amazing little privileges like that and they're definitely worth staying in if you're going to be here in Kuala Lumpur don't check into a hotel uh, I would highly advise that you just rent a, a small serviced apartment because they're much cheaper and pretty much like a five-star hotel of course but you don't get room service and all that but you do have a lot of supermarkets and cafes and restaurants uh, in these areas where these mega buildings are situated just because you know they're popular areas for 
uh, tourists, so of course the local businesses want to take advantage of that. Um, so yes guys, this is where I'm living right now and I really love it. I would definitely come back here again to stay uh, on my next visit to KL. But I'm going to leave you with this message here guys. Your money goes a lot further abroad in certain countries okay, than it does in the UK. In the UK, we are getting absolutely ripped off, okay? If you're gonna go and rent an apartment or flat, whatever, it's somewhere in the UK, what do you get? You know, you get your flat and that's it, yeah? You don't even get a lift in some of these buildings that you rent in the UK. This building here, for example, of course it's a mega building, a huge building, has eight lifts, guys. Eight lifts that are just constantly going up and down. Like, it's busy, but, you know, you can get in and out of the building fairly quickly uh, because it's got eight lifts. So, um, yes guys, we are getting absolutely ripped off when it comes to rent in the UK. Um, your money does not go far at all there. Uh, I've decided to just, you know, get out of the UK. I'm here in Malaysia for a while, I'm going to be somewhere else next, and then I'm going to be somewhere else after that. But the best part of this, guys, is that I'm not in the UK. Being in the UK is not okay right now, okay? Get yourself out of the UK because that country does not give a fuck about you. They just want to rip you off, guys. Go out, see the world, follow my channel for more advice on how you can do it. I'm going to make some videos in the future on how you can actually get out of the UK. I'm going to, you know, like a step-by-step -step plan. Get out of the UK, become an expat, go wherever you want, guys, yeah? You know, you've got a British passport, you can go anywhere in the world, okay? You can live here and there for a few months. You know, you, if you're coming to Malaysia, you've got a 90-day visa when you enter this country. So you can live here short term, check it out. Go somewhere else if you're interested in other places in Southeast Asia or somewhere else in the world, guys. Just go for it. You've got one life to live. I'll see you in the next video.